Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today is finally time to review the P2R Throttle Body Spacer. So let's get right into it. So first of all, what does it do? Um, as you drive, the throttle body starts to get hot. The intake manifold starts to get hot. So the spacer comes in between these two surfaces. And two hot surfaces are no longer touching each other, which keeps the intake temperatures lower, which creates more power. And because the space also extends the travel of the intake, this means the intake is able to contain more air than before. So that also creates more power. Okay, so my first impressions of the spacer. One, uh, in terms of feel, since it only makes 4.5 horsepower one wheel torque, there's not much that you can feel. When I added my intake, I felt a difference. When I added Honda, I felt a difference. This one, not so much. I don't know if it's because of my setup, but I didn't really feel much. Two, there is a sound to it. It adds a whistle-like sound to the in intake. And that alone reminds you that it's there. So it's kind of cool. And three, I did notice a slight increase in fuel economy, which is also a good thing. So now, let's go for a drive. So my final thoughts on the spacer, um, for what it's worth, I really like it. Uh, during the drive, you saw me push the car to about 9,000 RPMs. And I feel like with the spacer, it's going to keep your car running consistent as you push it. Um, it's, not, it's just going to keep revving all day. It's not going to bog because the overall intake temperatures are lower. So it's going to help with heat soak. Um, yeah, and as you push your foot more deeper into the throttle, uh, you hear the air you hear the induction noise, it, it feels like more air is in the system, which is another good thing. So if you plan on keeping your car naturally aspirated with basic bolt-ons, I definitely recommend the P2R throttle body spacer. Um, it's just an extra piece to the puzzle. So let's say you get full bolt-ons, an intake, cat back exhaust, header, and Flash Pro. And let's say you go get dyno tuned and you make 212 wheel horsepower. I feel like with this spacer, it'll help you reach 215 or maybe 216. It's just that little extra piece. So is that extra three to four wheel horsepower worth it? That's totally up to you. This mod goes for about 100 to 120 with the gaskets. So it's not that bad. It's not gonna break the budget. 
and overall I think it's good so yeah I would recommend it if you are keeping this car naturally aspirated with full bolt-ons so I hope this video helped leave a like share comment subscribe do what you have to do this is Dylan here from High Beam Screw and I'll catch y'all in the next one peace out